Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I just want to share a quick update about the N5101 router PC. And here I have added another cooling fan and you can see it right in the bottom of the case. And this is a USB cooling fan which means it will take the power from the USB port like this and then it will operate silently because the the route per minute is just around 100 uh, i'm sorry 1200 or something like that and so far i have tested the fan with different position i placed the fans on top of this case or at the bottom and i also test out the fan direction so here is the temperature statistics of the n505 with the fan placed at the bottom and the wind direction go from bottom to top. I have a temperature of the NVMe is around, let me see, around 42 or 43 degrees Celsius. And the core, the package temperature is also 43 and the, the core is around 41. So after that, I put the fan on top of the router PC like this. And at this time, the wind direction is still from the bottom to the top from this side to this side so we have the temperatures of the package drop down to 41 and the cores the temperature of the all four cores is around 37 or oh, we can see that is close to 38 but then the temperature of the NVMe right is still increasing and it reached around 43 0.5 or 44. So after that, I use a screwdriver to open the fan. Something just like this. I open the fan. It had three layers. So this is one layer, the fan and a, a base. So I change the direction so that I can change the wind direction. And now the wind direction is from top. Okay, from top to bottom. So after that, I place the fan below the CPU, below the PC, okay? So at this time, the fan will take the heat inside this router PC and blow outside, okay? So with this position, I can see that the NVMe right temperatures is stable is around 36 or 37 degrees Celsius in idle status and then the CPU temperatures is at around let me see around 40 right here 41 42 for the package and then for the cores is around 38 or 39 so to me this is fine but at least I have a good temperature for my NVMe right and also if I'm going to add all the PCIe device such as the 4G or wireless adapter, I will have the device running in a good temperature, okay? So just uh, sharing on that. And for this cooling fan, you can find it almost every places. Like you can find it on eBay or uh, Taobao or AliExpress or your local store, even Shopee and Lazada, they are selling this cap cooling fan. It's been used for routers and both uh, this PC. It is connected via USB, and I believe by default, this is a 12 volt uh, fan, but they connect a 5 volt to it, so the RPM will be reduced. So it is running around 1000 or 1200 RPM. And then another thing I want to share with you is about the fan on the bottom of the router PC. Let me open that so that you can see what is going on. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have installed an NVMe right uh, with a heatsink. And we can see that the heatsink is around, uh, let's see, it should be around 5 millimeter high. But we have a small problem. We can see that the back pan has a four hole to install a 40 millimeter fan like this one. 
but if you are going to install the fan then it will be very loud which means it is very noisy and if I install the fan like this one back to the PC I cannot use the NVMe heatsink I need to remove the heatsink so just the NVMe is okay but with the NVMe heatsink it is not okay it will have some conflict right here and also if you are going to use this fan the 40 millimeter cooling fan then you cannot install the LSD alright so that is another problem so if you're going to install your LSD at the back panel it will be something like this and then we can see that it blocked the hole for air ventilation and then uh, we have the hole right here for the screw but we cannot install the fan as well so if you're going to use your LSD, the full size LSD, you may not be able to use the cooling fan like the built-in 40mm cooling fan. And if you are use the cooling fan, then you cannot use the built-in NVMe hissing or you need to use the low profile one. Alright, so just some limitation for this version. Okay, so I know that beside my version, there are still all the vendors or the company who are selling um, also the same LLC, the same CPU and 5105 but with a better build and something else I have noted is that the 4 pin connector the 4 pins fan connector like this one according to the manufacturer the speed of the fan is based on the temperatures of the CPU but in fact I have tested with different types of fan I test with this uh, 40 millimeter fan with four pins as you can see from here or even with the Actis F9 with also four pin and I can see that the fans always spins at full speed okay and I have talked to the seller and they say that they will check with their technician team to see if they can update the BIOS but it will not be fast so it will take some time for the next update another small problem is that uh, this SATA cable the Bwin SATA cable they uh, send with the router PC is a little bit of hard so if you want to install your LSD you need to bend it a lot and if you have uh, time you can search on the marketplace where they solve this power cable separately and the SATA cable separately so you can purchase it and lastly I want to share that I have find a cheap NVMe right uh, the Intel up 10 16 gigabytes uh, to you at a boot price and perhaps I will give a try with PF Sense on this router PC very soon and right now this uh, NVMe right is 256 it is still running to Ubuntu for now so that's all and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.